Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is renal scan. And but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. You know, and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know. Uh, now I come to the topic: What is a renal scan? You know, the renal scan involves the use of uh, a radioactive material to examine your kidneys and uh, to assess. Uh, their kidney functions you know and uh, it's also known as a renal uh, like uh, uh, skin to uh, skin to graphy, you know and uh, maybe renal imaging and uh, a renogram so these are the alternative names used for this procedure you know diagnostic procedure you know now during this procedure a technician injects uh, radioactive material which is called as a radio uh, isotopes into your vein you know and the radio isotope release uh, the gamma rays and the gamma camera or the scanner is uh, uh, it, it detects the gamma rays from outside your body you know and the gamma camera can uh, scans the uh, kidney area you know and it tracks the radio isotope and measures how the kidneys process it you know and uh, the camera also works with the computer to create the images and these images uh, uh, detail the structure and the functioning of the kidneys which is based on how the uh, they interact with the radio isotopes you know and the images from uh, a renal scan can show both structural and uh, the functional abnormalities you know and this helps the doctors to diagnose uh, any kidney problems uh, in its early stage without uh, invasive techniques or uh, surgery you know and a renal scan identifies the problems with the kidney function. Uh, normally, uh, 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 every person has two kidneys uh, uh, in majority of cases, you know. And uh, the kidney's function is that they remove uh, the urea and the liquid waste uh, from the blood and produce the urine, you know. And other function is like they maintain the balance of chemicals such as sodium and potassium in the blood. And uh, the supply of hormone which is known as uh, erythropoietin, you know, which supports the red blood uh, uh, cells in growth, you know. And they control the blood pressure by producing the hormone which is uh, uh, renin, you know. And uh, provide the hormone which is known as uh, uh, calcitriol, you know. And its function is that it... Uh, supplies calcium to the bones so these are the functions of the kidneys and if you have the normal healthy kidneys they will perform these functions and uh, if there is any change in the renal function typically begins gradually and without any symptoms you know and in many cases the routine blood and the urine tests such as uh, uh, what's done on a like annual physical uh, uh, they show the first signs of the reduced kidney function you know okay so uh, most of the time you don't have the symptoms you know and the renal scan can identify the cause of uh, reduced kidney functions and this may be a disease maybe any obstruction or maybe any injury to the kidneys you know and the renal scan can explore more than one type of problem during the same procedure so the renal scan measures the kidney functions by monitoring the flow of the radioisotope and how efficiently your kidneys uh, absorb and pass it and it shows the uh, abnormalities in the structure, in the size, or in the shape of the kidneys, you know. So it's a very useful test. And the renal scans uh, can identify and evaluate the, like, uh, uh, number one, decreased uh, blood flow to the kidneys, uh, intravascular hypertension, which is the high blood pressure in the renal arteries, and the tumors are the cysts, any abscesses, kidney diseases, and uh, the success of kidney treatments and the rejection of the kidney transplant. So these are the multiple uh, kidney uh, problems which can be identified by the renal scans, you know. Well, you know, typically you don't need uh, uh, to make any type of uh, special precautions before this renal scan, you know. And you can usually eat uh, uh, normally, you know. And uh, most of the time you don't need sedation as well, you know. And uh, you should tell your doctor if you are taking any prescription medications or any over-the-counter medications you are taking, you know, and uh, discuss how to use them before and during the test, you know, and maybe after the test, you know, 
because some medications may interfere with the results and uh, your doctor may provide special instructions if you are taking medications uh, that could affect the results in the renal scan you know and these medications may include like uh, indiuretics or which is uh, which are commonly known as uh, water pills you know ac inhibitors uh, for the heart condition like uh, high blood pressure you know or uh, beta blockers uh, which are also used to control the high blood pressure and non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs which are used for pain and uh, uh, fever etc you know or the inflammation you know so these type of the medications they can interfere with the results you know so your doctor may stop these medications for some time you know or give you any alternative medications you know uh, but uh, the best thing is that you should tell your doctor if you are taking any kind of the medications whether they are prescribed or over the counter or any herbal medications you know the next thing is about the procedure you know well the renal scan it's a, an outpatient procedure or the same day procedure you know and you won't have to stay in the hospital overnight and a nuclear medicine technician will perform this scan and this is usually done in either in a hospital radiology department or maybe any medical office uh, with the special arrangements you know with the special equipment you know and during uh, uh, well you know depending on uh, the reasons for your scan and the testing may be between 45 minutes to maybe up to 3 hours you know and should talk to the technician uh, beforehand if you are uh, like uh, uh, claustrophobic because uh, if the camera passes close to your body you know and before uh, the procedure you will uh, remove any of the uh, all the clothing the jewelry and any dentures or any metals on the which are removable from the body you know in the metal uh, like uh, the metal items you know and you have to change uh, into the hospital gown and uh, you will lie down on a scanning table and a technician may insert the intravenous line into the vein uh, in your hand or maybe in the arm, you know. And the technician will then insert the isotopic, that's a radioisotope, uh, into a vein in your arm, you know. And you may feel a quick and sharp, uh, like, uh, poke with the injection, you know. And there may be a waiting period between the injection and the first scan to allow the kidneys to uh, process these radioisotopes, you know. And... Uh, the scanner will detect the gamma rays from the radio isotope and create the images uh, of the area, you know. And uh, any movements can alter or maybe blur the VN, you know, uh, sorry, the, that image, you know. And uh, you will need to stay uh, as still as possible as the scanner creates the images, you know. And if you need uh, the scan uh, because uh, you have the high blood pressure, uh, you may receive uh, a high blood pressure medication called the, like angiotensin, you know, converting enzyme uh, during the testing. And this allows for the comparison of your kidneys before and after the medication is uh, absorbed, you know. And if you are having the scan to look for the kidney blockages, you know, you may receive the diuretic, uh, the water pill to uh, promote the passage of the urine through the kidneys, you know. And uh, this will allow the doctor to observe the restrictions uh, to the urine flow you know and if you need to have an empty blood draw for the scan uh, you may need uh, a soft tube which is called as catheter you know uh, to maintain this condition you know and uh, uh, the technician will remove the IV line uh, and the catheter uh, once the scan is finished you know and you can uh, then change into back into your normal clothing and uh, you can usually return to the uh, your regular diet and uh, and daily routine after the procedure unless uh, your doctor advise you otherwise you know and uh, uh, the radioisotope will exit your body uh, naturally so the only thing you need to do is uh, drink plenty of fluids you know and urinating okay and uh, the nuclear medication uh, the medicine imaging uh, is considered safe you know and uh, the radioisotope exposes you less radiation than the x-rays so it's comparatively is a is considered a safe procedure you know and uh, the small amount of the radiation exposure is primary in the kidney area and it passes from your body naturally within 24 hours so, and the low doses of the radiation used in the nuclear medicine procedures does not have any connection to any long-term negative effects on your body you know and uh, uh, like 
even though the radiation exposure is minimal and it's short term, you know, you should tell your doctor if you are pregnant, you know, or if you think that you may be pregnant, you know. So tell your doctor in advance because it has, it can even has a, a negative effect on your fetus or baby in the womb, you know. And unlike the intravenous toys, the radioisotopes uh, carry few risks of the um, allergic reactions, you know. And allergic reactions to the radioisotopes are possible, but they are very rare. And a renal scan is a good option if you have had any reaction to contrast type, which are used in x-rays of the urinary system, you know. And the needle stick of the IV may cause like discomfort, or a little bit bruising or redness, or a little bit discomfort and pain, you know. Maybe infection and swelling, you know. But the chance is very low. Uh, you should contact your doctor if uh, these symptoms persist, you know. Okay. And depending on your physical condition and whether you uh, have had a recent surgery or the injury, you know, you may feel a discomfort or uh, from lying on the scanner table in still position for a long time, you know. Uh, and you may also feel dizzy or when you get up from a table, you know. And uh, it will last only for a few moments, you know. And then it will go away. The next thing is about the results, you know. Well, after the technician has uh, completed the scan, uh, the nuclear radiologist will uh, interpret the images and his findings, you know, and uh, then they will send the comprehensive report to the doctor and uh, you will discuss the doc results with the doctor, you know, in the next meeting. And the abnormal results uh, can indicate the, like, kidney diseases, the presence of cysts or the tumors and blockages and, uh, and like, uh, renovascular hypertension, uh, problems with the kidney transplant and maybe the kidney failure, you know. Uh, so once your doctor receives the report, he will call you back and uh, discuss the results. And then if there's any problem, uh, then he will discuss the treatment options with you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. You know. Thank you and goodbye.